You know what? There's no more fun and efficient way to fish than fishing from a kayak. But if you're serious about kayak fishing, there's not a better tool out there for reducing frustration and managing boat position than the new micro anchor available from PowerPole. Listen, if you're ready to take your fishing to the next level, you need the new PowerPole micro anchor. After exploring a back channel of the Cumberland River, Chad Hoover and Craig Dye have made the move to a small private farm pond that's loaded with bass. Although they've yet to find the big one, the day is far from done. Kidding me. Ooh. Mm, got that one. Whoa, better fish too. Come here, dude. <laughs> Look at that dude. Dump that. Lizard, as soon as it came off the bank, I threw it up in that slop. And he walloped it. I think they're full on in that protect the bed mode. There's a bed right there. And so when I threw the lizard up on the bank, it actually looks really, really natural with the lizard coming off the bank. And as soon as it comes into their, their little domain, they don't want anything, any, anything anywhere near that nest, especially a nestrator like a lizard. And uh, so they're thumping this thing. The cool thing about this Power Team Lures Lizard is the legs are facing in opposite directions. So the thing's just got crazy action, even if you're not moving it. And that big ribbon tail and neutral buoyancy makes this thing just have some sick action in the water. I think it's a snakehead. It's nasty. I've never caught one this big. Look at these fins. That's a bow fin. That's a bow fin? Yep. Nice bow fin. Also known as a mudfish or a grindle. Tore up the chatterbait. Look at that. Destroyed it. Yeah, I've seen quite a few of them back here. I just haven't been able to get one to eat. <laughs> All right. That was fun. And I have a lot of people ask about fishing crankbaits in shallow water, especially around wood cover. And uh, they're always asking how you don't get hung up and, you know, why do you even throw a crankbait in there? Because and... it works. <laughs> Man, it works so good. You know, it's funny you say that, Craig. I know you use quite a few um, all-pro rods, but uh, that's exactly how I fell in love with the brand is I'm kind of a crankbait fanatic, to be honest with you. And having a bait, having a bait that's or having a rod that performs well with that presentation was key for me. And even with some of the top rod companies in the game, I couldn't find a good crankbait rod. And um, man, the first time I threw a blaster, wasn't even fishing. I just took it out on a dock and started bumping it into some rocks on, on Old Hickory. I was sold. Just caught this monster bluegill on this uh, DT6. Look how big that thing is. I nice to catch about 20 of those suckers. Hey guys, let's stop and take a closer look at the kayak Craig was fishing out of today. That boat is the Wilderness Systems Ride 115X and it's one of my favorite boats in the Wilderness Systems lineup. This boat is outfitted with a prototype seat, the new Air Pro Max. This seat goes from the high position down to the low position, also has a tilt mechanism, and it slides four and a half just like the other rides in the Wilderness Systems lineup. Let me take you to the back and show you some of the differences in the Ride 115X over the standard Ride 115. First of all, it has security bars that are flush and down below the deck, rigid carry handles, slide tracks integrated to the back of the boat coming on forward it's got little cubby holes up here that allow you to place terminal tackle hooks and other things right there for you know easy uh, for easy access the little cubby holes here are standard with the hatch now the thing that makes this boat unique over all the other boats in the wilderness systems lineup is the integrated electronics control panel and the way craig's got his boat set up here is he's actually using the retention ball as the same ball to pull double duty for mounting his depth finder you simply loosen up the ball, pop the unit out, and now what you have is you have your depth finder, battery, and transducer contained into one unit. Makes for easy transport, makes for easy installation and removal, and the scupper that goes through the boat allows you to have an accurate temperature reading 
protected by the hull and you don't have anything hanging over the side of the boat when you're fishing in some of these uh, uh, brushy backwoods areas like we're fishing. Bringing it on up to the front, the hatch has improved drainage and a rigid carry handle on the front and a new and improved wider barrel for your paddle retention uh, bungee mechanism. So check out the new Ride 115X if you're interested in a small, compact, easy to use, maneuverable, and stable designed specifically for standing boat for your next kayak fishing adventure. For outstanding customer service, expert advice, and an extensive selection of quality kayak fishing products, visit Hook One at kayakfishinggear.com.